KPRC 2 News begins right now with breaking news. Coming from Southeast Houston tonight where a teenager is dead after being shot multiple times in Sunnyside. Good evening and thank you for joining us for KPRC 2 News at 10. I'm Bill Barajas. What started as a car club meetup ended in tragedy this evening. Gunshots rang out around 645 p.m. on Reed Road and Noel Street right next to Grimes Park. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is live at the scene right now where an investigation is underway. Bryce. Bill, this is a large scene. Grimes Park is taped off with crime scene tape tonight, and you can see to my left this large crowd of family and friends that have been gathered here all evening just waiting for information. Police tell me this park was full of people when this shooting happened earlier today, and the police have been here since nightfall. You can see them behind me here, at least eight HPD units here, as well as the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office. Police tell me that teenager was standing in the median when someone pulled up and shot her several times, killing her in the middle of the road. Emotions ran high at the scene of a fatal shooting Sunday evening. Houston police racing to break up a fight after a 19 year old identified by family as Michaela Lacey was gunned down at a car club meetup. She was a happy go lucky kid. Her mother, Chandra Williams, says Lacey asked to borrow her truck and promised to have it home by a certain time. And I hesitated. I did. And I said, okay, girl, go ahead, because she said, Mama, I have your truck back by 6.30. Well, 6.30 never got here. The scene shutting down Reed Road around 6.45 Sunday evening as crime scene investigators gathered evidence, piecing together what happened. They just told me my baby got shot five times. <laughs> Oh, God. Police haven't said how many times she got shot, only that it happened while she enjoyed the unsanctioned event while standing in the median. Usually there's no violence involved in them. This is a rarity where there's actually a shooting at one of them. Investigators say she appears to have been targeted, but it's not clear how she knew the shooter. I just want to say to the coward that shot my baby, it will be justice for Michaela. And tonight, Houston police say witnesses led them to the shooter. They were able to talk with him on the phone. That's when he told them he would bring himself into a police station and turn himself in. Right now, we understand that he is being questioned, but there have not been any charges filed. This is a story that we will continue to follow and bring you the very latest. We're live in Sunnyside. Tonight, I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News.